I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I'm not excited for this video. I'm never excited for these kinds of videos, but it's happening. It is truly happening today. We're gonna be finding out who the first campsite villager is on blue and uh, ooh, slay, slay, slay. We're gonna be having like a very late start to the game. It's currently 9 p.m. I've actually never seen Tom Nook do his little announcement at 9 p.m. So this looks really weird. Resident services is currently closed. So that's exciting. The town is officially progressing. Quick island update for starters. Once again, my house has upgraded. Slay, slay, slay. Doesn't seem like there's too much else to update you on the island looks pretty much exactly how you saw it the last time there doesn't seem to be anything here that we need to go over oh my god i was gonna say hi to dora but oh my god oh dora wants to talk to me oh shit girl you gotta speed up dora hang on hang on baby i'm coming to you yeah bitch i can fucking hear you relax hope you're having a good evening this squeaky i've managed to finish putting things I can't read. I managed to finish putting things away at home, so I'm finally freed up to meet and greet all my neighbors. I'm really grateful that you came by on my very first day here to welcome me. Until next time, Squeaky. That's it? You don't have anything for me? Gilbert and Flora gave me gifts. You have nothing for me? Oh my god, I actually have some fun, exciting news to share about our girl, Miss Flora. She's literally only been on the island for like three days, but um, oh my god, it's the first drama update of the, of the new island. A few days ago, Quinn came up to me <laughs> and was like hey have you met flora you know ever since she came to blue it feels like a whole new place and then literally last night uh they were on a date so it's official flora and quinn are dating it's a win for the lesbians um that's literally it that's all i have to share about the new island we have a couple oh 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 it's an icon it's our scammer boy it's mr red he's just roaming around the island you can probably tell what's going on so blue wants art and i've got art to sell might be something to this but i couldn't sell it to just anybody i need to sell to someone i could trust completely as if they were family and since we're basically cousins and you because <laughs> i can't do that we might as well just head off to red's boat real quick um they did change this in the game because before uh i think red would just sell you a piece of artwork on the island but now you gotta just run off to his boat at the back of the island instead there's a crossing channel video about it the whole like baby brown museum that whole thing's gone which fun fact i'm in that video too because i'm the one who told ben about it in the first place so shout out to me i guess anyways ooh, we got some paintings okay red i have zero bells Oh, this is, this is really awkward. Red, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to leave and come back. <laughs> he hates me. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Oh my God, Mabel's here. Why is Mabel always here when Resident Services opens up? That's weird. Anyways, Tom Nook, we don't care about you. There is only one important thing to come with the introduction of the Resident Services. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We love to see it. We truly love to see it. She's back on our screens. We won. She may be one of the most useless characters in this game, but I don't care because she's an icon at the end of the day. Anyways, welcome back, Isabel. We love to see it. First things first, we're going to go say hi real quick to the girlies over at Resident Services. And I'm realizing that it means we're going to have to sit through a lot of dialogue. All right, now I have to sit through a bunch of dialogue. Who's excited for that? Because I sure am. Blah, 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 blah. All right, real quick, though, before we get on with the mission of today's video, I need to quickly talk to our good girl, Miss Sable, or er, Mabel. Laura is staring Mabel down. That looks very creepy. Is there anything worth buying from Miss Mabel's shop? Ooh, we actually got some cute shit today, so that's exciting. My pockets are full. Why? Oh God. Let's just buy a bunch of shit and see what happens if she's gonna ask me to build shop for her. I'm realizing that a lot of this video is probably gonna be edited out. I ended up buying more than I needed. Mabel, are you gonna ask me to build the shop for you? No. We're finally getting into the meat of the bones. We gotta fucking build the campsite villager house thing. What? We're just gonna get right into it. We all know the drill. I really, really wish there was like an option, even if it's like your first time tutorials, Turn them on or off. Give us the option, especially if you're resetting. Maybe like if you're at Timmy and Tommy's thing, they'd be like, hey, by the way, have you ever done something like this before? And if you say yes, they'll be like, all right, cool. So clearly you know what you're doing. You don't need our help that much. We'll let Tom Nook know. And then Tom Nook won't be as talkative 
as he is because honestly as nice as it is to have a lot of dialogue in the game it really is unnecessary sometimes like I am not reading any of this 16 minutes later we're tasked with building the campsite which as you can see we need a lot of wood we might as well get to chopping Okay, if you watched my last video, you already know that I, I'm cheating. I have a second island. I made this a whole lot easier for myself. We don't have to sit here and chop some wood. <laughs> As you can see, I clearly have more than enough needed in order to build this. So we're just gonna speed along because I know y'all are so excited to see which campsite villager I'm getting. While I'm like building and placing the campsite villager, why do I not know how to speak? While I'm doing this, I wanna chat about one thing real quick because I didn't do it in my last video. And I know people are probably curious. Uh, it's about Drag Race, spoiler alert, season 14. The Lip Sync Smackdown, is it the best episode so far no but it was still a good episode for especially for like those like bullshit lip sync smackdown things that they do nowadays it was entertaining and the main reason why i want to bring it up is because i now have a theory that honestly a lot of other people have as well is that bosco has the golden ticket and i feel like this episode solidifies the fact for me because at first i thought it was either bosco or willow but after watching the episode seeing how they presented her is that wisp Okay, we'll deal with that later. I think Bosco has the golden ticket. I do. I do. And I feel like either next episode, I feel like it's going to happen next episode. She's going to end up in the bottom because they're teasing her like villain era. So I feel like Bosco is going to end up not only being the villain, but she's like, I really want this part in the Rusical. I want this part in the Rusical. So I feel like she's going to end up getting the part that she wants, but she's going to flop. She is going to flop. I can already tell you that she's probably going to end up in the bottom. And I feel like she's going to be in the bottom with either like Deja or Diabetti or maybe Georges, although I don't think they're gonna put Georges in the bottom four times. They're not gonna put her in the bottom four times until like it's her time to go, if that makes sense, because there's no way in hell they're gonna make someone be in the bottom five times. So she's probably gonna be in the bottom with Deja. Deja's gonna beat her in the lip sync. Reveal, Bosco has the golden ticket. Oh my God. And then we can finally get the whole golden ticket bullshit out of the way, because holy shit, what was the point of that? When we've already had what, like three or four episodes where nobody's gone home already. And uh, we now have a place for our campsite villager with that out of the way we might as well just time travel to tomorrow and go from there see you in a bit one thing i love about recording videos is that my computer fans just love to get louder and louder as the video progresses honestly the main reason why i kind of add background music is so that you don't hear the fans watch any video and if you like listen carefully as the video progresses might even happen in this video as the video progresses you will hear the fans it's official we have our campsite i'm so excited i don't think the visitor comes the first day of the campsite what did isabel say she said something about participating i really need to start paying attention to the dialogue um why is my phone ringing um no oh shit oh i forgot about this oh god here we go yeah so as soon as the resident services building unlocks a lot of stuff also begin to unlock including if you have happy home paradise installed you're finally able to embark on that journey i'm realizing right now that i have to redo happy home paradise in order to unlock the ability to renovate my villagers homes again happy home paradise speed run part two might be coming out soon no i'm kidding i'm probably not going to make a video on that but um maybe in the future when i start streaming we might do it together so be on the lookout for that if you want to see any of my happy home paradise videos i'm self-promoting myself right now I have an entire playlist on my channel. You can go check that out. Anyways, now Lottie is running away screaming and we can get back to what we're doing. Blah, 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 blah. I think now is the time that we've all been waiting for. I'm not ready. <laughs> it never goes the way I want it to. And I'm just, I just, mm, I think it's time we find out who the first camper is. Now for today's announcements, we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Oh God. They're here. They are officially here. Brief little intermission just to give my thoughts. I literally do this every single time I record one of these campsite villagers, but for those who don't know, your first campsite villager, always a smug. And fun fact about me, 90% of the villagers I have beef with in the game are smugs including but not limited to many 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 villagers that have been in the game. I literally have had six islands. We are going to see who it is. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna let y'all see who it is first and then y'all can tell me. I just like, I literally, I just, I just, ugh. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's officially happening. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, I fooled y'all. Three, two, one. 
Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> For what? <laughs> oh my God, I can breathe. The villager I like. I didn't even get into it. The smug villager that I really want is Pietro, but I'll take Keaton. I will take Keaton. Why does he look so short? I like Keaton. I actually do. I had him in New Leaf. Fun fact. Also, he's blue. That's exciting. It's another blue villager. Oh, thank God. God, just thank God. I really, really thought it was gonna be the other blue one, the one y'all know. I'm literally relieved. <laughs> kind of underwhelmed, honestly. I feel like this is a little, like compared to all the past villagers I've had, this one's kind of boring, but that's all I have to say, I can breathe. I got a pretty decent campsite villager. It's not a great campsite villager. Compared to the past ones I've had, I will take this and I will not complain. I do like Keaton though, like I said. He's a blue eagle. He's fun. He might be related to Quinn for all we know. Thomas Nookington, for once, you didn't try to ruin my life by inviting a flop onto the island. Thank you so much. Um, I already talked to him. I already convinced him to live here because I am an overachiever. I don't even care, like I said, that this villager is underwhelming. For once, I got what I deserved. I finally got a villager who isn't annoying, ugly, shit. Just plain old shit. We have a decent villager. Our blue friend can be neighbors with our other blue friend over here. Shout out to Filbert. Ahoy. That's a little bit of local flavor for you. It means what's up, wingo? Seriously? You got me a personal red carpet and my own VIP caban? They say the same thing every single time, huh? Ooh, Mabel's back. That's exciting. I think we all know what's going to happen next. Where is our girl boss queen? Dora. We got Abel sisters on the island. Let's just quickly plop down the location. I think like right there is like literally good enough. Bam. Here we go again with more tutorial talk. Campsites, great. People are talking about the island. Isabel's talking. Tom Nook is a KK slider simp. Tom Nook loves us. We gotta make the island pretty. Do some more things. We need to improve the population, do some more stuff. So what does that mean? Real quick, we should go talk to Isabel and Isabel's gonna blab about some stuff. Let us talk island evals. Perfect. <laughs> It's RuPaul's Drag Race, one star. Obviously, you gotta move some villagers in, you gotta plant some shit, you gotta place some fencing, you gotta do this, bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Since they are stating that we need to move in some more residents, I'm feeling kind of like I'm in a bit of a silly, goofy mood right now. And I think I'm gonna gamble and test my luck because my luck has been pretty good today so far. So we're about to do something really, really, really stupid right now. Which honestly, you shouldn't really be surprised by if you've been a long time viewer of this channel. But in case this is your first video, oh my God, look, I'm doing it again. I'm begging you to subscribe. Subscribe, get me to 50K. I'm very, very close. When I hit 50K, I'm gonna get a tattoo of my least favorite villager in the game, which is Rodney. So if you wanna see that happening, hit the subscribe button. Ooh, Keaton's awake. Ooh, his house is actually like, I think it's cute. I love the yellow. We'll, we'll go talk to Keaton later. I am ready to gamble my luck. We had a pretty decent campsite villager for once. As you can see, I have one ticket in my pocket and I thought to end off this video that our lucky number seventh villager, we might as well just gamble on and see who pops up on the very first island and whoever it is, we're just gonna take them. Honestly, even if the villager's pretty mid, which I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen, I'm down. I feel like it's just kind of fun. We need some spice. This is literally how I used to play the game before I did, you know, this whole YouTube thing. I literally used to just take the villagers I find on the first island and just go from there. But um, while I'm emptying my pockets, I might as well just ramble. I just kind of take whoever I find. And then whenever they ask to move out, I would just let them move out. Unless if it was like a dreamy, of course, which by the way, of course, my dreamies list for this island. I still want biscuit and that's it. We're just going to see who's on the first island and just take them. Why not? It's not gonna be a bad villager. I can already tell. When has the first island ever been a bad villager? I don't think I've ever had a bad villager come up on the first island. All right, all right, all right. I'm in a silly, goofy mood. We are on our first and only island for the day. We're gonna see who the seventh villager of Blue 2.0, Bluetooth if you will. Is that Gigi? <gasps> it's Gigi. It's Gigi! <laughs> 
Oh my fucking God, it's Miss Gigi Good. Oh, I love it here. I love Gigi. Look at this baddie. Are you kidding me? The fit, the lips. Gigi Good is here and she's about to move on to my island. Oh my God. Am I actually getting good villagers on this island? Literally so far, there haven't been any flops. All seven of my villagers are amazing. This is actually about to be a good island, right? There's like, there's no way in hell. It can't go downhill from here. All the villagers I have left to find, I get to basically choose who comes to the island. I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I thought this video was gonna go in a completely different direction. I literally had this pillow prepared to like, into in case it was a bad campsite villager because because i have never had a good campsite villager and the fact that it's finally happened and then on top of that i got basically one of my favorite snooties in the game in one day with one ticket there's like there's there's just no way that like it's actually looking up for me like there's there's just no way my starting 10 are actually gonna be good i don't i just i feel like something is gonna happen for now it's worth just celebrating in the present so i have a good villager i have basically a dreamy on the island as well so there's probably going to be some clickbait in the title we'll see <laughs> but um i'm just gonna leave it there keaton's pretty exciting to have on the island let's hope they bring some you know Gigi's gonna bring some drama that's the other reason why i'm so excited to have her on the island she is gonna bring the drama attention shoppers attention shoppers Gigi's real name is gertrude